my life's pretty hectic at the moment. I've got a new book out. It's due back in three weeks. <laughs> I want to talk about my dad. You know, I'm very proud of my dad. You know, my dad was in the New Zealand Rugby League team in 1982. But that's as far as I've narrowed it down. <laughs> So I moved over here from New Zealand last year. It was pretty scary. I didn't have any friends. Nobody knew who I was. That was why I left. <laughs> I wrote letters to the cast of Desperate Housewives. <laughs> Judging by their replies, they're not really all that desperate. <laughs> Do you guys like my outfit? You know, the shoes look almost as good on me as they did on the guy who used to own them. <laughs> Can you believe someone didn't want these anymore? I can't believe how many pairs they throw away at that mosque. <laughs> so this one guy says to me, now you be sure to keep your hands off my daughter and I say fine, but it's your fault when she falls off during sex. <laughs> Are there any girls in tonight? I once went up to a woman and said, excuse me, miss, will you be interested in having sexual intercourse with me? She said, I'd sooner go home and wank. I said, fine, let's do that. A lot of girls assume I'm a terrible lover just because I'm short, but actually, there's a lot of other reasons too. <laughs> I broke up with this cross-eyed chick, because I thought she was seeing someone else. <laughs> my mum still buys all my socks and underwear. <laughs> Although I haven't a clue what she does with them once she's bought them off me. <laughs> my mum talks about sex with my friends. Does anyone here have a mum who talks about sex with their friends? Over the phone for two pounds a minute? <laughs> so I was at home the other day watching Two Hot Chicks Strip For Me dot com. And I got, a, I got a bit sick of that after 13 or 14 hours, so I decided to watch some boxing. Do we have any boxing fans in tonight? Yay! When I was a kid, I wanted to be a great boxer. I even thought of a nickname, Two Fists. But then one of the local sluts stole that nickname and gave it a whole new meaning. <laughs> Thanks for clapping, one dude. Contrary to what I was saying just now, I have, shut up. Contrary to what I was saying just now, <laughs> I have been sort of seeing this one girl now for about two years on and off. It's a Russian name. <laughs> and I'm always telling her, calm down, babe. Why are you so mad, babe? I call her babe because she looks like that pig from the movies. <laughs> One time we did it doggy style for half an hour, four minutes in human time. <laughs> I'm, a bit, I'm a bit terrified of marriage. Is anyone here terrified of marriage? Yeah. A guy I know says marriage is like beating off to the same page of a porno mag every day for the rest of your life. <laughs> and I thought that sounds bad and spookily similar to single life. <laughs> but this, this girl suggested we move in together and she said, if we move in together, we'll be like proper lovers. We'll never have to use a condom again. And I thought that sounds great because I hate having to use them again. <laughs> it saves money, I know. But the neighbors always double take at your clothesline. Who has ever put Monopoly money into the collection plate at church? 
I have, and they caught me at it. And this minister dude comes up to me and says, what the hell are you doing? This money isn't real. And I said, well, let's talk about this God of yours. <laughs> I wasn't sure whether this business was the right one for me at first until after about my fifth gig when as I was leaving the place I saw a woman waiting at the bar with a big gorgeous smile on her face and as I walked home from her flat the following morning I knew that I'd discovered my true calling in life. Stalking. <laughs> Some of you may find this difficult to believe but at the end of last year I had a bit of a nervous breakdown. And I must say, when you're recovering from a difficult experience like that, it's interesting to find out who your real friends are, and which ones are just imaginary. <laughs> <laughs> I like having chops for dinner. Does anyone like having chops for dinner? <laughs> I had chops for dinner once, then I went to try and French kiss this vegan chick, but she said no, because her lips could never touch the lips of someone who consumed animal flesh. And I said, well, I haven't fucked any animals, how about a blowjob? <laughs> And she believed me. Because it was true. So anyway, so I was in my car the other day doing donuts, and I've still got sugar on my balls. Good night.